The pumps are usually recommended for patients with type 1 and for some patients with type 2 diabetes who require insulin treatment. The pumps are usually important for patients who are committed to very frequent glucose checking. You need to finger stick three, four times a day. You must agree to do that because the pump can only help you by delivering the amount of insulin if you are giving the pump the right information as far as what's your sugar and how many times a day you've checked your sugar. So, to begin with, it's friendly, it's easy to use, but it's not entirely devoid of certain responsibilities. You must agree to do the checking three, four times a day. For those individuals who are not ready for this, then the pumps are not a good choice. You also have to realize that the pumps will give you enough insulin as long as they're in place. So if you are putting the needle every three days, taking good care of the pumps, and injecting the right amount, giving the right information, it will be an easy life for you, so to speak. But if you are not using the three, four, or more measurements of glucose per day, you may give the pump information that's not adequate, and therefore the pump may not help you very much. So you have to commit yourself to the pump. And it, this is not true for all diabetic patients. Now, there are some patients with type 1 and type 2 diabetes as well that we recommend the use of insulin pumps. And these patients are those who have brittle diabetes, diabetes that's difficult to control, the sugar is up and down, and more importantly, these people who have a lot of low blood sugar reactions, especially at night, and have what we call unawareness, which is something like very serious, that people can go into seizure, coma, and die of low blood sugar reactions, then we do recommend that they consider a pump because that has been associated with a lot better outcomes.